Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi Ji, Mr. President of the General Assembly, Madam Deputy Secretary General, Mr. Mayor, distinguished ambassadors, distinguished guests, and all my dear friends and colleagues from this wonderful audience. Today's celebration is indeed very, very special. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will lead us in doing yoga here at the United Nations lawns. To put matters in perspective, it was under his leadership and under his guidance that 21st June was declared as International Yoga Day. And it is only fitting, therefore, that the inspiration behind the idea is with us today in the scenic, multicultural setting of the United Nations. Ladies and gentlemen, it is truly beautiful to see so many around the world gather in solidarity for yoga. It is not living with the burden of weight or the lightness of oblivion. It is a choice made with balance. An idiosyncratic beauty, timeless throughout the progress of humanity, yoga has endured. It is truth beyond articulation, wisdom beyond time. I hope all of you will cherish 21st June this year and hold it close to your hearts today and forever. Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador Cambodge, for your remarks. It's my turn now to invite the Honorable President of the UN General Assembly, Mr. Chaba Karoshi, for the stage. Honorable Prime Minister, Madam Deputy Secretary General, Mr. Mayor, Madam Ambassador, Dear friends, Namaste. Yoga is a way of uniting mind and body, and also the environment and us. The most memorable university lectures I attended as a student many years ago were on cultural traditions of ancient Eastern civilizations. They helped me understand that we are part of nature, despite regarding ourselves as aristocratically detached from other creatures. I also learned that the energies in the universe and inside us abide by the same law, a desire to achieve balance. Yoga changes our physical performance. But more importantly, it can spark in us different mental and intellectual performance with a control that it teaches over ourselves. We learn how to make change and impact. Since that university lecture, I've been an admirer of yoga. I'm very proud of my daughter who has already reached a high level of practice and is continuing her journey. Thanks to her, I understand better yoga's ethical guide, guide. The guide which includes the principle of non-stealing, non-greed, non-hoarding, and non-violence. In other words, yoga's ethical guide to living is a guide to sustainability not overusing resources that belong to all of us, not prioritizing short-term gains over planetary boundaries, and working for transformation. Our world needs balance, self-control, and creativity, just as it needs recognition of moral responsibilities and cherishing peace and justice. There are many ways to approach these aims. Yoga is one of the means for which I have a special respect. I'm happy to be here with all of you today. But let me apologize in advance. I am not a yoga practitioner, and the positions which you will show 
might look very different from what I end up doing. Still, I'm here with an open heart and open mind. Thank you very much.